What's going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch. Great to have you back. Right off the rip, I want to show off my brand new t-shirt thanks to I Am Jacoby and his latest vault drop. As you can see, it is the number one edition shirt never to be re-released. He's got his slogan on the back. I'm so psyched to have it. Now, Jacoby's going to be releasing these limited edition vaults on a periodic basis, so keep an eye out for them. They're super cool. They're at imjacoby.store. Now, today's build is something that I've actually seen for a while now, but it doesn't really seem to have much attention. I've seen it included in Rogue Master firmware for literally months and months now, and I've only seen a couple people really talking about it. In fact, I think that Kiranons might be the only person I actually know who has one of these. All right, so what am I talking about? Well, it's a freaking Geiger counter. Wow. Check this guy out. What's really cool about it is we can both power it and actually use it using the companion app right on the flipper itself. So let's get at it and see how this thing works. So I guess our first question is what exactly is a Geiger counter? I mean, simply put, a Geiger counter detects radiation. We all know what a Geiger counter sounds like when it's going off. If you've played the Fallout games, you've heard it all the time. Now, this particular Geiger counter will only read gamma rays and what are known as soft beta particles, which basically just means that the particles are traveling slower than the speed of light. Sorry, all of you alpha particle stands. We're not going to be able to read those with this guy. It's such a cool little board, and if you want to make cool boards yourself, well, that brings us to today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay has an absolute ton of options when it comes to printing your own custom PCBs. Got a really advanced project? Well, guess what? PCBWay can print up to 60 layers. Just make sure when you're designing your PCB, click on the Advanced tab. Got a certain design flash you're looking for? Well, PCBWay's got a number of different solder masks to fit whatever your project's looking for. So check out PCBWay.com and get a free instant quote. As always, thank you so much to PCBWay for the support. Let's get back at it. All right, so let's pop on over to the top down camera and take a look. All right, so first things first is we got our board right here. We have some DuPont wires we're gonna to use to connect the power and stuff to the flipper. We also have this mini jack, which is actually gonna plug into right there, which is where we're gonna get the signal from the Geiger counter to import to the flipper. Last thing is we have this little guy right here in this glass tube. If we eh, get this open, there we go. So I guess I only need one side. There we go. So this is where the magic happens. This little guy right here. So what this is, is just a glass tube full of gas, right? So the radiation, when it enters the tube, it collides with the gas and it pushes an electron away from the gas atom and creates an ion pair. A uh, wire in the middle of the tube attracts the electrons, creating other ion pairs and sending voltage through the wire. So that's why when radiation goes through it, you get that cool clicking sound. So this guy just gets plugged into this board, positive here. So we're actually going to rotate this around and clip this in ever so gently. Don't want to break it. I've gotten this far. Cool. So with this mini jack, I've actually got the wire stripped out here and I've got just the green wire. So that's just a single channel. We're going to plug that into, let's see the brown guy here. If I can see what I'm doing, this part's a little bit annoying. There we go. Just jam that in there for now. And then we're going to plug this in to the audio connector. And then we're going to use the next two wires. So the top uh, one is ground and the next one. So red's going to be our five volt. So let's carefully get those plugged in. Sorry if my hands are in the way. It's always harder to do when you're doing things on camera. Wow, that was hard. Now that we've got that, we're just going to move this out of the way so we can grab our flipper over here. Yep, there we go. Cool little RGB wave going on here. I love that animation. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug our ground into ground. We're going to plug the 5 volt into 5 volt. I know, shocking. Right there. Whoops, that's not 5 volt. Right there. And then we're going to plug this guy into the one right next to 5 volt. Perfect, and now we're ready to go. So this is uh, kind of a cool one. All we have to do is we'll open our applications up, and this should be in GPIO, I believe. Uh, sensors and Geiger counter. This is the uh, latest Patreon version of Rogue Master. Pretty cool. We'll open up our Geiger counter. Immediately, the light turns on so we know it's working. And we got one tick already. That's pretty cool. Actually, let's grab our stand over here, make it even easier for us to see everything. Pop that right there. Now, you will note that there is always some background radiation going on. 
there's, you know, radiation in the soil, radiation from the sun, all sorts of stuff going on, not to mention all the crazy stuff I have kicking around on this bench right here. So it's always gonna pick up some sort of radiation. Now, I've tested a bunch of stuff, including uh, smoke detectors, I've tested bananas, I've tested all sorts of things that you're supposed to be able to find in your home that have radiation. I haven't really found anything that's particularly powerful, except for one thing. So what I have here is actually a uranium glass ring that I got for my wife. It's super cool, it's missing a gem right now, so I gotta get that put back in, but yeah, super cool ring, and this is made of uranium glass. Glass actually has small bits of uranium in it, and the um, actual uh, gems on there technically glow under black light. Actually, let me grab a black light, I can show you. All right, so here's our black light right here, and let's see, laser, black light. Alrighty, make sure the camera can see it, but yeah, super cool. Uranium glass, if you guys haven't seen it before, this stuff's super, super cool. Uh, big fan, I wanna start collecting it, but it's a very cottage core thing to do, so I'm not sure that's gonna happen. But let's carefully take this out of here, because if I break this or lose any more stones out of it, she's gonna be pissed. And if we hold it up to the tube here, we can see, there we go, our CPS, our clicks keep going up and up. So yeah, it is mildly radioactive. It's not crazy radioactive, but it definitely it definitely reads on the Geiger counter. Super cool. So if you have some uranium glass and a Geiger counter, have at it. It's a lot of fun. Let me ever so gently put this back in here and move that out of the way before I get in trouble. But yeah, it's a fun little project. It's a really cheap board. You can get these on AliExpress for about $25. And it's just kind of fun to mess with. Find some radioactive stuff you have kicking around your house. It's an easy project, it's only got a few wires. I have seen some other people where they mounted it directly to the Flipper Zero by gluing some header pins on there. But for now, I thought this was just a cool way of showing off how this whole thing works. Also, since we're here, you can see there's a couple little pieces of tech down here that we're gonna be using for some upcoming videos. Stay tuned. So if you're like me and you've been wondering what the Geiger counter application does on Flipper Zero, well, that's how you use it. Now that I have a Geiger counter, I gotta figure out some other cool stuff to test out with it. So if you have any recommendations, let me know down below. Also, if you have any projects that you think I should take a look at, Leave it down below as well. I've got some really cool stuff coming up. I got some Hack 5 gear and some OMG gear coming in, and it's going to be a lot of fun to test those out. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton. You guys are the best. We'll catch you next time.